<laughs> I, <don't> know, I guess. <laughs> I was about to ask him where his was. <laughs> hey, could you make it through the game uh, okay health-wise with your foot and everything? No further complications or anything? No, nothing further. Uh, Obviously, there's a just a little bit of pain, but uh, once you get out there, especially with it being my first game back, you know, pain was temporary, and uh, I just got out there and with my teammates again, and kind of forgot about the foot and just started playing again. Can you uh, obviously, you know, being three weeks removed from surgery and everything, can you put percent on what you were when you were out there actually playing? <laughs> like honestly, uh, it wasn't a great percentage. Uh, but just like I said, I, I really wasn't even thinking about how healthy I was or anything like that. Maybe that was a little bit selfish of me, uh, just trying to get back out there. But, uh, you know, my, my teammates, the coaching staff, the training staff, they was very supportive of my decision to come back and play. And, you know, that's all I needed was their consent. And uh, after that, it was just going out there and just trying to help my team and contribute in any way that I could. Were you risking a lot? Could, could you have done long-term damage or was it? I mean, that I mean, we uh we discussed it. Um, obviously, it was an educated decision. Uh, I discussed it with uh, our team physician, uh, the doctor, Dr. Gertel, who, who performed the surgery, and he said that uh, you know, I, I got a screw on my foot right now, and they said that the screw had never broke uh, before. Um, they said the percentage was pretty low of that happen happening, but you know, uh, it was their responsibility to let me know that something dramatic could happen, but uh, you know, I'm blessed for for it not to ha have happen. It's kind of hard to explain, put it into words. It's just, um, you know, a gift had been taken away from me, and it's just like getting it back. And uh, you know, I, I'm very thankful and blessed to be put back in that situation where I can come out there and play again. But uh, after they told me, you know, I just want to talk to my family and. Uh, get back to being around my teammates like old times and, and just letting them know that I was back and would be on the sidelines and in the game in just a matter of minutes. To a degree, Dominique, did you go out the way you to go out? I feel like it was the right way, uh, just going out with my teammates like that. Um, you know, it was very unfortunate that we lost, but uh, just getting back in there and uh, just going out the right way, that's all that really that's what mattered most to me. Um, you know, it had been very tough for me to just go out on the sideline and watch my team lose, and, and that being uh, the end of it. But uh, just being able to end it on the on the right note, uh, you know, it just meant the world to me. It's kind of hard to even put it into words. Did you have to push yourself on that point until now? I mean, it was a 24-hour process. You know. Uh, Obviously, I gave a lot of credit to our training staff, but you know, every night, you know, when I when I went home, I was just working on my foot, uh, whether it was getting getting massaged or you know getting the ice and doing a, a whole lot of rehab. But uh, it was just nonstop, and you know, just a, a few weeks ago, they were saying that my season was was over with, and uh, it just shows you how, how God works. That you know, it's His timeline, and if you if you just go about it the right way. You can put yourself in a position uh, that you want to be in. Did you have to wear a special shoe? Or... No, nah, I mean, it was just just, a rate, just like I do any other game. Uh, just a little bit of tape, and, and that was it. Pete, you talk about the gift of playing the game, and you've had that gift for four years and done it so well. Has the finality of it hit you that you're never going to walk out of the court as a Marquette player? <laughs> I'm just like real in, in that aspect. Uh, I really haven't thought about it. Um, I had a, a little bit of time to dwell on it when the injury occurred, but now I'm right back in a position where if I was playing all year, you know, I, I played my last game. and um, Obviously, I feel like I, my career is going to uh, go further, uh, but right now I'm still enjoying the time with my teammates, and, and we haven't started the, the reminiscing uh, process yet, but. I mean, our, our, our student athlete career hasn't completely over with. You know, I'm still spending every day with those guys a lot of time. And, you know, you just got to give us a little bit of time to really start reminiscing. Tell me from what you know from this team that's coming back and what limited knowledge you may have of what's coming in, recruits, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. What do you see as the short term um, projection of this program? How, how much do you think they might do next year? And beyond? Well, it's been up in the air every year since I've been here. You know, everybody's projections has been, uh, you know, it's pretty much been off the charts. You know, it started from no expectations to the highest level. 
and uh, obviously you're losing uh, four guys that's that's been here uh, since those expectations were unknown. But uh, I think we're leaving the uh, the program in good hands. We discussed Lazar Hayward, Maurice Acker, David Kubian, and go on down the list. But the best hands is leaving it in the hands of uh, Coach Williams, unbelievable recruiter. Uh, I've seen the recruits that they got coming in, and they should have no problem fitting in. And uh, they definitely fit uh, the persona of a Marquette student athlete. And uh, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, where this where this program goes from here. I know we're going to be very successful because that's what this program's all about. What do you think you need to work on to play in the NBA? And when you sit down with NBA general managers and scouts, what will you tell them they will get if you come into their camp? A, a, a player that's willing to do whatever it takes to, to help his team. I mean, I didn't score a basket in my last game, and my, my team was still in a position to win the game. And uh, it's been like that all year. I mean, um, I may have sacrificed a little bit of my scoring, but I overall became a better player. I, I became the best player I've been in my life. And uh, that's just being an overall uh, floor general, being an extension of the, the coach, and really understanding what that means. And, you know, that's that's the main thing that I grasped from this year is that you may sacrifice a little bit individually, but the team goes way further than that. And, and that's the best lesson that I learned and, and what's going to contribute to me as a player in, in the future. I mean, Lazar's a grown man. I mean, uh, we all make mistakes, and he understands that. I mean, his maturation process has been unbelievable since I've met him. And uh, he, he puts a lot of responsibility on his shoulders. And uh, to be a great player, that's what you have to do. And, and sometimes our failures will come back and, and, and make us that much more successful. And that, that's, a, that's a, a mistake any of us could have made. And, uh, he knows that we have his back, so there's not many words that you can really tell him. Is that you know you just got to move on. You got to have a short me memory. It, it hurts, but you know he's going to be a lot stronger from from that instance. What will you miss the most about your four years as a Marquette? <clears throat> just putting on that uniform. I mean, I, I remember the the first time I put it on, and I remember the last time I took it off. And, um, there's, there's nothing like that, you know, walking through the tunnels with the guys, getting ready before the game, uh, doing the media with y'all, <laughs> you know, so, uh, I mean, the, just the whole the whole uh, experience has been unbelievable. But just being around the guys every day, but, you know, these are, these are relationships. That's the great thing about basketball. You know, these are relationships that are, are going to be lifelong. But uh, as far as just being together, you know, it's just something very special. Mm -hmm. finishing, you know, at, at, at the time, you know, you go into the season, you know what you have with Buzz, but you're in first place, and then the injury and whatever. How do you sum up this whole crazy year? <laughs> I, don't, I, I mean, I'm, I'm lost for words. You know, uh, it's hard to just sum it up, but you know, I felt like this team proved a lot of people, uh, proved to a lot of people what what this team is all about, what this university stands for. And, uh, you know, we opened a lot of people's eyes. You know, a lot of people wasn't on the ship at first, and then a lot of people jumped on it. But, you know, we're very thankful for the people that were there from the start and, and are there for us in the end. So that's just what it's all about, you know. And, uh, you know, we continue to represent the Marquette Nine. First time you came into this building in the recruiting visit, we got to put a hard hat on. The building was under construction. <laughs> was the unknown of the Big East. When you leave this building for the last time, how important will it be to you that Established Marquette as one of the top teams in the Big East and on the national level. I mean, that's what we that's what we came here. Uh, none of us were really nationally recon recognized, um, but we definitely want to put you know the Marquette name on our back and uh, and bring it to the forefront. And I feel like that's what these guys have done. Um, it was a lot of hard work, but you know this name means a lot uh, to us, and we're going to continue to represent it uh, to the best of our ability. And, uh, you know, I think we really set the tone for the future. Uh, set, set a lot of high standards, and I feel like the guys coming in behind us is going to push it even further. Is that it for me? Thanks.